So in one of the saddest alpha investments videos he's ever made, and this one is incredibly sad, and we actually have a pin from James Ross, who outed out himself. Uh, he is still a Patreon, and he sold Rudy a collection of garbage for probably pennies on the dollar. Now, neither Alpha Investment or James will actually tell you what he sold the cards at. But based on the quality of the cards, New Compenna, Dominary United, Secret Lairs, um, this is absolute the definition of garbage era in Magic the Gathering. There doesn't seem to be any value. I think he's got shadows over Innistrad. I'm looking at the video right now. Uh, and he says, while I will out myself, I'm still a Patreon. And this is what happens when your when you life hits a brick wall and a family member's cancer treatment. Thank you, Rudy. So this Rudy Lemming is still on Patreon, even though he probably shouldn't be paying for Patreon at this moment in time. He thanks Rudy for buying boxes at basically very low. Don't ever, these are comments, don't ever thank someone for ripping you off. Sorry for your losses. I hate seeing it. Exactly. Bah, it was an amicable sale. I've had a great experience with Rudy. You don't even know what the deal was. I will thank who I please just because you want to be a negative Nancy. I won't. Bro, Rudy was there to buy off a stock that no one else would have picked up otherwise. Cardboard is worthless if no one is willing to buy it. Rudy didn't rip anyone off. He made sure this guy got the money he needed. I'm glad the sale went well, but I wonder why you would still hold on to your Patreon if you really needed to cut costs and find money to afford the care. Wouldn't expenses like this be the first to go? With all respect to Rudy, but family comes over supporting someone making videos for entertainment, right? Same applies to any subscription you may have like Netflix or whatever. I'm so sorry that you're in this predicament. I hope you and your family members get a second chance. Good luck, buddy. But he will remain a patron. Thank him, etc. Nothing learned. Then that was my point or advice here. Plenty of people out there will buy MTG to say that no one would is disingenuous. To say selling off your investment for 60 to 70% of the value that's already in a down market is a good thing. Perhaps for that individual, not denying that he didn't get the money he needed, still a ripoff. It is sad to see people losing money trying to chase a false hope. How is this ripping off? Selling the MTG cards was the best option. I am not going to rob retirement or take a loan on my house. I'm taking months off work to take care of my mom where she goes through treatment. My savings is good enough to pay my mom's treatment, but not to include taking three months off work. I plan to buy from Rudy when I get back to work. My eyes are open and no false hope. You don't know the prices I paid or so that speculation is a great thing. You, you realize the money that will cost us a monthly Patreon sub is nothing compared to the inventory he just sold, right? And you realize that after clearing his inventory, he may just want to stay, stay sub to Rudy because he liked the guy, want to support him, or just to pick up, come pick up sealed for his personal use. Thank you. Sure, go ahead and recite the definition for us. I'll apply it in context for people somebody not getting the full value of transaction. So they're going back and forth, back and forth. Um, I hope for a speedy recovery for your family. Um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Imagine needing money for your family so you take a huge loss financially selling back your quote investments to the guy that pumped this garbage onto you for 60 cents on the dollar then still paying the multi-millionaire who calls you these large, large, large losses monthly when your family needs the money, LMAO. Um, and he will not go into specifics and think that you want with that information. Uh, it's not my place to enlighten you. So we're never going to know what the numbers that he bought them at. And at the end of the day, yeah, 
let's keep getting to read comments. Uh, Rudy sells to Patreon and then rebuys from them with 50% discount. Genius. I don't just see boxes. I see someone's hopes and dreams crushed. It is a sad moment. Yeah, I agree. Almost seems like the plan for Wizards was to collapse the secondary market and local game stores. We've been in the junk era wax for a few years now and a glut of UB products for the foreseeable future and will ensure the hype train continues until morale improves. Bad news. Liquidations are pretty sad. Good news. More Boulder's Gate box opening videos. It's very sad to see. Assuming Rudy paid about 60% of the current prices, that person has probably lost tens of thousands. I, I would imagine they lost probably over... If the secret layers are theirs, they probably lost over $100,000 uh, straight up. RIP patron store individual going through liquidation. He thought he'd be getting all the prestige and glamour of car shop life and the associated female attention, but instead he got a stack he got was a stack of bankruptcy papers to file in the need to sell his retirement to Rudy at obscenely usury discount. A sucker who was sold false hope, probably from watching this very channel. Yeah. Yikes. Rudy is now buying MTG boxes by the pound. Back of my truck. You don't have to lie. You went dumpster diving. Damn, was Rudy's master plan to sell magic products only to buy it back during the dip? Absolutely. Um, as a person that's opening a tabletop cafe soon, seeing these videos scare me. Um, don't open the tabletop cafe. It's, it's not good, guys. It's not just that everything went to zero. It's also the MSRP is so damn high. A sad state of affairs for local game stars, collectors, players, investors, yada yada. Um, while waiting for the 20 videos of Umu saying to spend money on the girlfriend and expensive dinner and not steal boxes because you can't have both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I have more than nine views, guys. I get a few hundred views. Only Umu would comment about Umu on a Rudy video. We see you. MTG Lion was a cool name. That, that's not me. Uh, he's right, though. Name one thing Rudy has been right about over the past three years. I guarantee any Timmy that has bought and held anything Rudy has pumped over the past three years is down massively. Uh, wait until Umu makes a video on why getting a blank girlfriend is bad and why magic is better. Okay. Actually, my girlfriend is actually working and actually playing Pokemon Go right now, so I'm not going to read that comment. That's a really rude comment. Rudy hasn't got them all right, but they're still weird that Umu made a whole channel dedicated to Rudy. Um, you should check out my other channel. It's dedicated to a scammer called Anthony Farrar, and we have a much better time on that channel than this channel. Uh, take a shot every time Rudy says destroyed. I mean, was I right or what? I mean... Uh, seeing someone's corpse displayed in the form of NTG product is rather sickening. What happened to my favorite game? Rudy, is this for investment or do you plan to sell it all to any of this in the patrons? Jeez, the body is not even cold, my dudes. The body is not even cold. Come on, guys. Come on. The body is not cold. And there are, so Rudy bought it and now he's going to resell to the patrons. Yikes. Um, why is there so much garbage around those precious sorcery cases? Oh. Yikes, 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 yikes. Everyone has given up. Blanking quote of the year here. It can't all be toxic if Rudy's willing to buy for pennies on a dollar to resell to patrons. At 4x once the bubble is back. I missed the bubble. <laughs> oh, yikes. Steel City Collector. Okay. Shout out to whoever that is. Wow. That is... That is... Um, man. Man. I mean, that is blood, man. That is blood. Where is Umu to tell us, Rudy, you lied. We thought you were not posting videos. 
Yeah, so how many of these people are on this? I don't even know any of these people watch my videos. Honestly, they're Rudy fans. I don't want them to watch my videos, but looks like they are umuing around. Going to go fully digital eventually. Yeah, I, I mean, in fact, um, my girlfriend's nephew, when she, he wanted to get into Magic the Gathering, I told him to do a tutorial on MTG Arena. And then I found him, I actually had two accounts. I found him my MTG Arena account. I said, yeah, you don't actually need physical cards. Just log into this account. Uh, so I gave him my uh, original MTG Arena account. So I have two. I gave him uh, the better of the two. And he's having fun. Uh, I, I think he's having fun. He thanked me. He's probably having a good time. I'll probably ask him this weekend whether or not he's enjoying MTG Arena. If I were to do it again, I wouldn't buy any cards. It takes a lot of space. It's all, it's, it, The space that it takes is just massive. I have closets full of this. Closets and closets. And, you know, it's, it's just... Even from a space standpoint, I'd rather have my collection just online and easy to access from any computer. Right, so I actually had a computer to just play MTG Arena, and that was in 2015, 2016. The computer crapped out. I still had the account, and I was still able to give the account to my girlfriend's nephew. So he's playing MTG Arena. I told my girlfriend that if she wants to play, I have a second account. So if she wants to play against him, you know, as friends and whatnot, I, I think I friended my account. Um, but the other account is called MTG Lion. It's the OG account. I, I held on to that one, not because it was a good account, but because it just had the MTG Lion handle. I didn't want people to steal my handle, right? But I'm pretty sure somebody already took Umu handle. I mean, it's been a while since I played. Mm. Um, yeah, this is pretty savage. I mean, I don't need to read you anymore. Do you want me to keep reading? Because it's really... Really, really, this is um, really bad, right? It is uh, individual. Rudy, always buying sealed product. Patreon member, buys lots of sealed product. Rudy, stay the course for 7 to 10 years. Patreon member, but I pay a monthly subscription fee and everything is on my credit card. Rudy, everything is going to zero. PM, panicking and feeling victimized by a YouTube hype dog and can't hold for 7 to 10 years. Short-sighted Patreon member. Rudy, I will buy your collection for 50 to 60% of the market price. Patreon member, I need to sell now. 50% is way better than I can. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, this dude can't sell. Like, what's going on? If he really needs money and has free months where he's not working to spend time with his mom, like, it's really easy to sell stuff online for a loss. Like, again, my other channel, we cover Rolexes. And um, as long as you can take, like, a 20% loss on it, there will be a buyer for the product and it will move. Rudy, who buys all this stuff in these quantities these days? Patreon member. Only Rudy's Patreon members are still hoarding overprinted in secret lair. Rudy, well, thank you, morons. Patreon member. We still love you, Rudy, and we will do it again <laughs> in one to two years. Rudy laughing all the way. These are comments, my dude. Comments. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But, hey, man. That's Rudy.